welcome students today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic uh, from mathematics which is factorial notation this factorial notation is very widely used in the chapter of permutation and combination this chapter permutation in combination is very important with the competitive point of view so let us start what is factorial notation we'll understand this factorial notation with the help of very simple examples okay let us see suppose we are multiplying first five natural numbers 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5 okay so with the help of this factorial notation we can write it in a very simple way this is written as like this and we read it as 5 factorial or this can also be written as factorial 5 it is read as factorial 5 correct Similarly, if you multiply first seven natural numbers, one into two into three into four into five into six into seven, then this is seven factorial. Okay, or we can write like this also, factorial seven. So I hope you have understood that factorial of a natural number is a continued product of natural numbers starting from one. Up to that natural number. Okay. So similarly, if natural number is n, then n factorial can be written as one into two into three up to n. Correct. So the continued product of first n natural numbers is known as n factorial and written as this notation n factorial. Okay. so factorial notation is very interesting and very simple to understand it and we can some we can simplify uh, factorial notations also like this suppose we have to simplify 7 factorial by 5 factorial okay then this is 6 into 7 how because here numerator is 7 into 6 into 5 factorial and denominator is 5 factorial 5 factorial is cancel out and 7 into 6 this is equal to 42 so you might have understood how we are writing this numerator 7 factorial as 7 into 6 into 5 factorial because in 5 factorial we are already having first five natural numbers 1 into 2 up to 5 and this is 6 into 7 correct so in this way we can simplify uh, numbers with factorial notation very easily correct and it is very interesting to understand that this n factorial can be written as n into n minus 1 factorial how we can write this because in n minus 1 factorial we are having all the products of first n minus 1 natural numbers whenever we will expand it n minus 1 factorial this will be this will be n Into n minus one, into n minus two, into n minus three, up to one. Correct. So up to this step, we are writing here n minus one factorial. Correct. So this is very simple to understand that n factorial is equal to n minus one factorial. Clear? And let us try to understand what is the value of zero factorial. very surprising because in this zero factorial will not have any natural number how we can evaluate it and you will surprise to know that zero factorial is equal to 1 how how zero factorial is equal to 1 you can understand it very easily correct so let us see n factorial is n into n minus 1 factorial now here we will put n is equal to 1 let us put n is equal to 1 so in left hand side we are getting 1 factorial and right hand side this is 1 into 1 minus 1 factorial 1 factorial is 1 and this is 1 into 0 factorial or you can write it 1 into 0 factorial is 0 factorial so 1 is equal to 0 factorial or we can understand 0 factorial is equal to 1 so this is a very interesting result we have to remember zero factorial is equal to 1 correct and in the next video we will see 
some interesting and very simple questions related with factorial notation. So students, we are going to discuss very interesting topics and interesting problems in videos to come. So I hope you might have subscribed my channel so that you could not miss any video that will be lost.